please uh, karibu sana mgeni wetu our county director of education Kisumu county is with us what is going on right now is a trip planting ceremony my father as you want to start this ceremony my father lord we want to ask for your holy spirit to guide us reign in our lives my father and guide us throughout this day because this humble prayer trusting jesus holy name amen thank you national anthem please
Deputy Principal to make introductions before we move on with our program. Deputy Principal, please. Thank you very much, um, Master of Ceremonies, Senior Master. Our guest of honor, sir, kindly stakeholders present today during this occasion. I want to begin by asking the students, a representation of the students, can you stand and wave to the chief guests? Thank you very much, that is our choir. I want to ask members of staff, members of the teaching staff, kindly, because of time, I won't I mention your names, but try so that the chief guests can see you. Thank you very much. Get seated. Allow me to turn this other side. We have here with us members of the Parents Association. Can we just rise? Members of the Parents Association. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. We have again members of the Board of Management. Kindly, uh, those of us who are present, just rise and wave the chief guest. Thank you very much. Um, we have with us also members of the provincial administration. Uh, kindly, just rise and wave the chief guest. If guest we have uh, mentioned, that will be introduced by the principal. Allow me to end there and uh, very kindly ask the principal of to take over at this point. Thanks a lot. Uh, we have a uh, chairman to also uh, make his remarks and uh, welcome us to the reunion officially. Thank you. Senior Master. Um, SCDE is on the west, our DCC is on the west, and of course our CDE, Mr. Tede Isaac, government officials, fellow members of the BOM and the PA present, 
teachers and students who have just left, all protocol observed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is George Ominde. I am the board chair and I uh, want to take this opportunity most graciously to welcome, to agree to come and give us just one hour out of this busy schedule. Thank you, sir. We truly appreciate it. Uh, without the risk of seeming to have not to have breached protocol, I deliberately asked Madam Principal that I speak before her. And the reason is simple, when we were conferring with her on the side, and I told her, when you are when you are getting up, and you are a direct report. So allow me as chair, as much as it would look like breach of protocol, to stand and speak before you very briefly, and then you can come and you lead us into welcoming our guests. So that's why I'm up before her. Uh, our chief guest, I'm going to be very brief. Um, I was wondering, Walimu, whether this, this podium, when our chief guests come, whether it can be there. Because I'm realizing, at starting somewhere here, where he planted the tree, he has a command and a view of all of us. But if he's going to stand there, then he will turn his back and be able to see just a few of us. So if we could bring it over to where I'm standing, that would be better. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's good enough. Um, our guest of honor, two things that I wanted to mention. Number one, the members of our BOM represented here, along with the PA, uh, are a team of men and women that work with me to help Madam Principal run this school. These are very respected men and women in their own right. We have, uh, uh, we have a, an excellent mix in the board of different professions. There are teachers who have been very successful in their areas and who are retired and have been coming in and have given us very dedicated service. For the period I was a board member and even now as, as chair. And I want to thank the BOM members they have already been introduced to you, but I want to request the chair of the PA, Mr. Bonyo, who is sitting at the back. If you would kindly arise, Mr. Bonyo, the rest of us have been introduced. That is our very able Mweshimiwa. Uh, he's a very able uh, chair of the PA. As you know, uh, on a CD that uh, a lot of things in such schools can be able to move and if you want to move anything beyond what the government is doing, then you need a team that is running behind the PA chair. Thank you very much, Mr. Boyd. Um, the last comment, uh, our, our, our chief guest, is that um, our strategic plan 2016-2020 has just come to an end, six, and the board is five-year strategic plan. And you have not had occasion to go around the school. This, the, the square feet where the school is sitting of land is, is relatively small. We are really constrained of land. And one of the key things that will come into that strategic plan when we finally begin to work on it as a board is room for expansion so that we can have our infrastructure uh, expanded and, and, and established in some of the areas that are uh, we have a problem with space. Behind us here, and the main reason for our being here today is this block for which you, we are grateful that you have come to inaugurate today, has, uh, is, is work that has been done over the last one year. And because of uh, constraint of, of space and room for classrooms, we have actually had to demarcate this so that it can fit in when it is from completely done. It is actually done, the ground floor is done and ready for occupation, so that we can fit uh, at least four classrooms. I, I, I hope I'm correct, Madam Principal, that's, that's right. And uh, the big numbers that we received for Form 1, Madam Principal will touch on that in her address, has been a challenge to us, 
And so this has come in very handy and in very good time. With those remarks, I want to say uh, I'm grateful on behalf of the BOM uh, that you have found time to come. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Thank you so much, uh, our board chair. Let, let's appreciate him in a tidy manner. One clap. Thank you so much. Uh, may I take this opportunity now to invite our principal, Karibu, Madam Principal. Like this. And I want to thank God for our CD who has sacrificed half time uh, with us. Our chief guest. CD Kisumu County, Mr. Tebe, our Deputy County Commissioner, Mr. Wanyoni, our Board Chairman, Mr. Omilde, our representative from the Ministry, our BOM, our PA, My dear colleagues, principals who are here, my colleagues at Bali Union, our contractors who are on the ground, good afternoon. Let me not forget our pastors who are here, the pastors from AIC. I'm very grateful to have all of you here for this short session. Thank you for honoring this day. Sir, I would like to welcome you in a special way because the times are different and for you to be here is really honor to us. We are humble. I want to let you know we couldn't have the audience that we would have organized for this function because of the times. That's why we have very few attendants today. And we'll try and observe the MOH protocols for ourselves. Sir, so I would like to inform you that Barry Union Secondary School is AIC sponsored and it is a sub county mixed day secondary school. Officially, we have five streams, but with the admissions we have received in Form 1, we have overflown and we are now in the sixth stream. Our student population. At the moment, it's 9.55. We have 517 boys and 438 girls. We are trying to capture the home ones on NEMIS, but even as we do this, uh, we've had a big challenge with NEMIS. In 2019, our student population was 733. And only 700 were captured in NEMIS and only 700 were funded. In 2020, our population rose to 825. Only 757 were funded on NEMIS. In 2021, we are at 955. We have received funds for only 69 students. Of course, we've been informed that the home ones will be funded later. So the NEMIS uh, capture has had that shortfall. We are hoping surely something will be done so that the underfunding is remitted to the school for us to be able to complete what we intended to. Our school is efficiently managed by two committees, the BOA that you have seen and the PA. I want to report they are effective and operational and they are the, they are the reason behind our success story in Barimini. Our staff, we have 21 teachers employed by TAC and we have 15 teachers employed by the, by the board. That gives us 36 teachers teaching. Our CBE should be 48. We have a shortfall of 27. As I appreciate our TSC officer on the ground, we want to give that information to the TSC office 
as we appreciate what they have done, because every time there has been recruitment, we have been given a slot for recruitment. Our non-teaching staff is 13. In so far, they have also worked effectively, just like the teachers. We have been a team, and that's how we have managed at the school. So let me report that we have also done well. We are training our student wholesomely. In KCSC, we have kept improving. In 2017, we had 115 candidates. We scored a mean of 3.8, and we had nine that joined the university. In 2018, the candidates are increased to 123. Our mean also increased to 4.57, and we also increased the intake university to 19. In 2019, our candidate increased to 136. Our mean also increased to 4.70. Our university intake increased to 26. In 2020, our candidate was 165. Our mean increased to 4.75. Our university intake was 26. So we have steadily progressed and we really appreciate the teaching staff for the efforts put in. In core curricular and skill development, sir, we have not uh, remained behind. This school does well in drama. The furthest we have reached in drama is regional. In music, sir, let me report that we are the defending champions of the East African anthem. The anthem that we just had. And the big trophy that is my size in the office, was given to us in Nakuru as the national champions holding position one. The choir that you had is part of the choir that presented them. And I want to report, sir, that this choir has been trained and uh, watched over by Madame Otana. May I ask the advisor? Thank you. I want to acknowledge that our success and our good work has been by the support of the Ministry of Education. The board chairman and the board here will bear witness to me that all our board meetings have been attended by the sub-county director of education and the TSC director of education, unless if they are here in another country and their input on the board has propelled us this far. We are very grateful. I also want to report that the local administration has supported the school so much. They have, hoped to watch, they have kept watch over our security. And actually, the local administration has helped us in retaining our students. The local chief and the elders have made efforts to bring back students who leave school for no reason. And that is what has made our population keep growing. Thank you very much, the local administration. On our ministry projects, sir, I want to report that the Board of Management is informed about the projects, the guidelines for the projects, and the funding that comes with it. We discuss it in our board meetings. On infrastructure, we have a special committee, the sixth committee. The members are here. May I ask those who are here to rise up, please? The infrastructure committee. Thank you. Three are present. The chairman is unwell, Mr. Wayumba. But I want to commend them for their efforts on infrastructure in this, in this school. So they understand what we are doing. And they follow up and supervise. That's why we are brave enough to present this project and say let it be open, because we believe it's well done. Let me also give information that in 2019 on infrastructure, we did two classes, the two right away at the entry of the gate. 
because of the big population, we partitioned our hall into three classes, and we also began the foundation of these four classrooms. In 2020, sir, we did the boys' toilet at the far end, and then we completed the ground classrooms, we began the staircase and the ramps. In 2021, we have completed the last floor of that building and any other part left. So our project for 2019-2020 is complete. And we thank God we are able to launch it officially. Our project is for classrooms, as mentioned. Our project was approved by the CDE's office, and our project has been supervised by the Ministry of Public Works. We expected three of them here, but uh, unfortunately, I think one officer, Madam Irene, is in Nairobi. Mr. Pio was not able to come, but we have one of them. Kindly rise up, sir. That is one of the engineers who have been supervising. The contractor has been River Nile Construct Constructing Building and Construction Company. I have not seen the contractor, but he's on the ground also today. As I finish, sir, the only challenge that we have is one, the rapid growth of the student population. If they came out, sir, they are like this. We will have no space here. At the moment, we are running two programs. We are running the junior school and the senior school. Because with a population of 955, and in this COVID time, we cannot have them all run the same program. So they begin school at different times, they have different breaks, and they end school at different times. They are in classes, our programs are going on, even as we do this function. But should you have any moment, we will gladly avail even the candidates, just for a word of encouragement. Our next challenge is underfunding. We've made all efforts, including writing through the sub county director's office. But from 2019, we have been underfunded to date. This makes it very difficult to complete projects as scheduled. But we try what we can and make sure that the projects are able to be in use. And the last challenge we have is on teaching. I thank God TS is here. A shortage of that magnitude affects the learning. In this school, because of it, we surely need staffing done a lot more than where we are. A shortage of 15 is quite big. The board has tried its best to fund the teachers on board, but it's not easy for us. Thank you very much. With those few remarks, may I humbly welcome our sub-county director of education to take over and invite other guests. Thank you. County director, Mr. Isaac Atebe. Our Deputy County Commissioner, Mr. Nalia Nyawanyoni. Our Board Chair, Madam Principal. Staff, BOM members, and the guests we came with, that is Mr. Biagon, and the invited head principals. We want to thank you for this occasion. We want to assure you that it is not always that the county director can get time to visit a school and a sub-county school. Sir, I want to appreciate your coming very much. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Madam Betty has been working with us very well. She is a hard-working lady. We are happy with the upward performance together with her teachers. I want to praise the board for the good attendance that I've always seen and the contributions that are in so much focus to our director. This is the most improved board, most focused that I've seen in the sub-county. Some more, 
By the way, always the first one to get approval from the county director in the sub-county. It is her and her chair. They two. The principal senior law, then the principal bar union. Always the first one every year since I came here in 2019. We are grateful, madam, because you always follow the guidelines and the policies as granted by the Minister of Education. Keep it up and mentor your deputy and the staff to keep on like that. Finally, sir, I want to request that uh, the school has a mean score of 4.7 currently. Thank you for taking to university a quite an, a good number. You are at a school that is challenging the whole of Nyahera Secondary School. We are happy with that. Staff, we want to request you. We want to request you. Subcount schools can reach a mean score of five, six, seven. Let's have you achieve your target. This year, so that we are proud of it, even when we inform the, the county director that you have come that level, is able to see the picture of our union as he's seated here today. And we agree that we are going somewhere higher than where we are, staff members. Thank you. You are capable of doing that. This is our staff that we have not gotten any issue. The DCC knows that. There are teachers who have given these sub-county challenges, but you people are good. Keep it up and put more extra efforts. I want to thank you and allow me briefly, because it's not my day, to welcome the Deputy County Commissioner, to welcome our guests who are sacrificed to be here, to speak to us and do the necessary that he came for. Otherwise, we want to thank you, all of you, for the support that you have given unto the school. Thank you so much. God is good all the time. All the time. Uh, the Common Director of Education in Tusumu County, Chairman BOM, and the members present, the sub Director of Education in Tusumu Sub County, all officers of national government present, members of staff. Not forgetting our Apple Prince for Madam Betty Asioya. Good morning. Uh, today is a day that uh, the Lord has made to come and witness the launching of the Ministry of Education projects that will fund the courtesy of the national government. Uh, as a government, Education has been given a priority in the management of finances, and that's why we are here today to witness what the government has done as far as improving infrastructure in schools is concerned. And the reunion is a testimony that uh, with good management of finances, all is well. I'd like to take openness of the fact that. Uh, the Board of Management and the principal have shown as the way that with proper management of finances, we can develop our infrastructure in schools with the resources that we gain by the government. What I'm seeing here reflects good management, the synergy that is there between the Board of Management, staff, and the Ministry of Education officials shows that. Uh, we are working as a team to realize the vision 2030, which among others want to create a, a, a country that has an informed society. And the only way we can do that is by ensuring that all of us support the 100% transition from primary to secondary school. And that cannot be achieved unless there is enough infrastructure in the schools. And that's why today, we are here to proudly say that uh, we are on course to realize what the government wants us to do as uh, national government offic officials. And today, my friend Atebe has come. He has told me that this is the first time he is coming to our union. And I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you officially to Kisumu West, sub-county, and in particular 
for reunion secondary school. It's a school that I am proud of. It's one of the uh, uh, flagship projects in my sub county. And whenever someone asks me what is which is one of your best schools in Sumway sub county. And remember, our union has come out as the best sub county school, even in terms of enrollment, it is just a school of 1,545 students. So we are actually on track and we have to start trying to teach us what we are doing because uh, from the principal's report, we have had an upward trend as far as uh, performance is, is concerned. The improvement that has been witnessed cannot uh, just be overlooked because you are actually putting in a lot of effort as teachers. I know for good performance to realize there must be effort from the teachers. And as I've been saying, I've been telling other people, because I was also a teacher for five years, I know what teachers go through. The good performance of a school revolves around teacher, teacher, and teacher, nothing else. And that's why, as a principal, you must create what you call synergy and rapport with the teacher. There should be no comes in school. In come we are to principal, in come we are principal. The moment we have such comes in a school, then we are not, we are doomed. We will not do well in school. And therefore, I'd like to uh, recognize that and uh, uh, give my applause to the principal and the board of management. Because as the Southern Director of Education said, this is one of the most proactive board of management in Sumo West and even in Sumo County when I, when I direct. Uh, other POMs should come and thank him for the union POM. Because I have not had any issues in this school. Madam Mary has never come to me and say, told me that I'm having issues in this school. Because the those that, that have been having issues they have been inviting me to go there, we have a meeting with them, then we have a way forward. But for union, we have not had any issues, and that shows or points to a good leadership uh, in this school. Otherwise, as teachers, remember, we have been telling, being a sub school does not mean we cannot raise the means for to over six. Over six, in this case, there are only two issues here. First of all, you should believe that you can make it. After believing that you can make it, then you do what? You behave and you become. So believe, behave and become. You can become a giant in Kisumu County as far as academic realm is concerned. So it's your challenge. So next year when you come here, by reunion with among the top schools in Kisumu West Sub County and in Kisumu County. And I, I believe that uh, we are going to achieve, we are, we are equal to the task, and we can achieve that particular feat. Those very many remarks, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my singular honor and privilege to welcome Mr. Asa Isaac Achebe, the current director of education, to address you and give us his words of wisdom. When I said the Karibu. Thank you very much, uh, our Deputy County Commissioner, Mr. Wanyonyi, and the entire security team that has accompanied you. The Sub-County Director of Education, and Mary Ochoa, and the TSC representative that they gone, the BOM Chair, Mr. Uminde George, together with your team, the PA Chairman, Mr. Obono, together with your team, our Principal, Madam Betty, together with your team, the students and the, the entire Bar Union community, where I've included the contractor, Ivanai, 
Good morning. Is it morning, morning or afternoon? Still morning. My name is Isaac Achebe, the County Director of Education to Sumo. I want to take this uh, very privileged opportunity to appreciate <coughs> Bar Union for this very humble, humbling invitation to this institution. I want to appreciate what is going on in Bar Union and particularly the aspect of uh, our focus, which is our academic, so that we are able to accommodate more of our children so that they move forward and achieve their potential. You have already heard the analysis, which is very important to me, and I think Madam Betty clearly knows what I stand for. And uh, for me to move out of the office, to come and uh, visit you, colleague teachers, it means there is a good job going on here. Usually, I move out of the office for two reasons, Bwana Chibeo and Chairman. Good reasons and today I'm here because of good reasons. So, I want to appreciate that. I've already seen how the performance is, and uh, I'm proud to say there's always positive improvement. By the way, teachers, I am a biology chemistry teacher. Where is biology chemistry here? Where is the biology chemistry teacher here? I am one of you when I come to the class. <laughs> and I'll take in interest now since you have invited me. So don't be happy that I've come here also. <laughs> so the biology chemistry teacher. I've taught, I taught biology chemistry for quite a long time before I moved to the administration. So, madam, thank you for me, telling me to come and focus on them. I'll be taking them through the steps. Having said that, I've noted the positive improvements, and I want to state also, Bana Chairman, that among the 250 schools in this county, Bar Union was number 52 in the whole county, in terms of which tells me that uh, you did well in the last examinations and because of that positivity. However, I want to also state that you are not the number one among the sub counties. However, I want to state that you are not number one out of the sub county schools. And also, I want to also tell you that you are not number ten, uh, number one to ten. But you almost made it because our first sub-county school, and I think uh, this is here has mentioned very well, got 6.232 mini school. The first, the first sub-county school in this county, the, top, the first number one in terms of sub-county schools, which was Magunga Second. You know where it is. It is in Nyaka. Yes. Six points. Then number ten. Number ten. From number one to ten. Number ten was uh, Professor Yejo Bumba, which was at five point one. And you people were at four points. So are you all seeing that you are almost in top ten? <laughs> and you promise me that next day you will be in top ten. You promise me today because I've come here <laughs> and I will come here now in another way, not this way. I'll not be talking about infrastructure, I'll be talking about performance. Chairman, that is a deal made. 
and I'm looking at them in the face and telling them next year I'm here and I'll be here next year immediately after so I've already said that madam to be ready for my next year but that time I will be coming for top 10 among them I've not told you to obtain in the count in the count to obtain among them I want to appreciate Kisum West Sub, our count, our sub count, because we are also doing well, sir. You are number two among the sub counties in the in the count. You are only hit by one count, sub count. So thank you for that leadership. As I continue congratulating Madam Betty for the leadership here and the BOM chairman and the PA chair and the entire team. I also want to congratulate you together with Madam Choi and the TSC Subcount Director, Madam Katak, and the team for the work that they have done for you to imagine the, the number two out of the seven subcounties. What I want also you to also work on, because you have done well in the areas of us. Universities, university entries, but I want also the teachers to move the students to, uh, to what we call a substantial um, number that go to university. 26, madam, is good, but it's not good. I want, uh, when I come here, how many do you think I should come and see? Madam. How many do you think I should come and see? How many have you taken to university out of the 26? This year you took 26. Good in, good. How many do you want me to come and see? Where? How many? There should be more than 26, isn't it? So how many? Eh? Yeah? 50. Where is the director of studies? You say to you? You are the one, isn't you? Yes, sir. Coordinate the academic area. I will, sir. On behalf of the principal, coordinate together with the deputy. Let us identify the children who can get C+. Yeah. Then the teacher who does not bring that child to C+, yeah. si muna muambia, kole kole. Like it is your kole kole sana. I have to achieve, we must push, isn't it? And that is very clear. And I'm happy that because of this pushing, Kisumu County is also moving upwards in terms of MINISCO. In terms of MINISCO, the whole county, for the last two, two years, we have moved in terms of MINISCO and the number who go to university. And remember, from this sub-county, sub we got uh, our highest number of A's, which was 24. A starting from this account, but majorly given by Haseno School, the no others came in. So this account, you have not, I want it more, the number of A's, sir, so that we uh, move forward. The government, you know, wants 100% transition. He was asking my people. 100% precision. Wa toto wote wambaya wanafanya jiani wa KCP ni lazima wa ije from one. Hata akipata magungati ma ili kwa hini? Hata akipata? Na hindi is the lowest you think. Whatever mark they get, they must move to so I want to appreciate, Madam, that uh, you have opened the doors for all children who are seeking vacancies in this accountable and transparent. Very important. I want to say that uh, it is accountability and transparency that uh, brings about what we want to witness today. And this was made a decision because of the 100% transition that uh, every year a school should grow. It should not be 
require, like they have been, every year a school should grow in terms of infrastructure and in terms of growth, in terms of enrollment. So, by the union, see, you are moving in both directions. Enrollment and infrastructure. Because you have used your money well. These four classrooms that you have built makes the total of 450 classrooms built in this county between 2019 and 2021. You have contributed to the growth of the county. On top of the classrooms, we built 23 dormitories across the county. I've said for 4250 classrooms and 23 laboratories, I mean dormitories of various sizes and 27, what we call, I talked about dormitories and now laboratories, 27 laboratories. And 1,000 for the PCC, 1,200 doors of latrines or toilets in this county between 2019 2020. You have heard she has contributed part of them. No wonder, no wonder colleagues and the members, last year, because of that, we had, we were given 35,189 students to come to Kisumu because they were available spaces. Yet our ACP candidates were 32. I don't know whether you are getting me. We had 32,000 candidates, 32,786. But we were given 35,189, which means we could accommodate all our learners and still import, isn't it? From Viga. <laughs> and import from Yamira. And import from CIA. So I think we are doing well, and I, that's why I want to be clear that the support the infrastructure development. Principles of them say, Oluwalo. Simuna Sema says, I'm too harsh on that, but I'm not I'm going to be harsher. Because we must create space for our children. Where do they go? Do you want our children to start moving to Viga? To go and look at education for education there from Kisumu? Wanaenda Uko? No. If they can get the same education here, fine. But we are not saying we cannot export. But we should also import a lot. In that, uh, then, so that uh, I clear, because I've seen, madam, I've seen the way you people are using money, I would want you to do a good BQ so that we forward it to Nairobi so that we start fighting to see whether we can get the additional infrastructure funding <laughs> infrastructure funding that the government gives outside the normal MRF. Are we together? Yes. So that we struggle, start struggling there. Either MRF, I mean either the extra infrastructure or the transitional infrastructure grant. So, Madam, you will uh, advise her how she does the BQ from the board. It starts from there. Identify a project. Let us give that proposal to the CS so that uh, we see whether that can come at that end area. I think that's I, that's one of the answers to the challenge of high growth. And then uh, the underfunding also, Madam, closely closely interact with madam and me I'll introduce you to the person who puts the children in the computer <laughs> so that you talk yako wende Nairobi uweke watoto yako peke yako na wewe na yeye so that you finish that you sit down with him and tell him this is my and this is my enrollment and these are my children then you try and because I'm here, but I'm not telling everybody to go to Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> For the teacher shortage, 
We are aware of that. I want to appreciate Bwana Chairman for the 15 more teachers that you have allo are, are given the, 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 the school out of your own initiatives. Parents continue supporting. We will, not, we will not agree to come here and hear that there are classes which are un, unmanned. We will not accept. And yet there is everybody here. So meanwhile, I'm sure the TSC is also trying its level best and depending on the funding that they are getting, and that's how they you are able to get a teacher, as you say, as you say, almost every year, at least a teacher. And as we grow that way or two, we will at least reach there. So I think I want to appreciate once again this very humbling invitation and appreciate everybody for what they are doing in this county and particularly in the bar union. Teachers. You are my colleagues. Next year as I come, after March, after analysis, we will be on the hands here. We will be on the hands here. Which subject was that? Home science. Home science? Yes, sir. And you are who? I'm Cecily Loma. Well, I'm not going to be here. When I say that, I'm with everybody. See, you invited me. Who invited me? Is it, is it you invited myself? You invited me. That's what you mean. So let us see that everything is right. And I will support, as, a, as a, an education office, I will support you because our ultimate goal is to see that every child meets their potential so that they can go happy and pray for us and as our children also as teachers continue doing more. How would you hear Papa Yako? <laughs> what we do here, the other side is it. What we do, what we do it well here, see, the other side where my narrative, they are also being done well. So I think that is our motto as teachers, and let us move the focus from that. With those few remarks, I want to appreciate and thank you so much for the experience. God bless you, and God bless Barbini. Uh, thank you so much. Let, let us clap for him. Our CDE, let's clap for him well, but I want to organize the clap for the volume. Follow instructions. Clap for the volume. Thank you so much. We are humbled. Uh, we are really humbled. And I think uh, we have been mandated officially by the CDE himself that we will push you slowly, we'll hurry up slowly, but uh, uh, he has said <laughs> it should not be too slow. Uh, the pushing should not be too, too slow. So it, it, those are not my words. We have had them here. Now let's move on uh, to the main event. The main event is we now want to dedicate and officially launch uh, this project of ours. We thank God for it. So I will request for one to officially mm -hmm. cut the ribbon. Allow me to read some good words from the Bible. Proverbs chapter 24 Verses 3 and 4 says, By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Teachers will come out of here, pastors will come out of here, and at the end of the day, wherever they will be, they will remember the Union Secondary School. I want to thank you for everything that has been done here. And Lord, we thank you for prudent use of the funds that were provided. And as it has been said here, that it is through the good guidance of the principal and the DOM that we can today stand before this beautiful and magnificent house to praise you for what you have done. We know wisdom comes from you, knowledge comes from you, and that anybody who wants to do a good job must depend upon you. 
That's why we pray that your wisdom, knowledge that surpasses all will prevail in this school. And we want to thank you for the administration that beginning with the principal and the rest, the Lord you will uh, unite them in one spirit that as they see that the academic performance is improved, infrastructure is also improved. We thank you for the office of the CDE for having seen it good that uh, they approved the project which was given to them and that funds were here so that we can now officially open this house. So as the CDE officially opens it and launches it, we, give, we pray for him that we will continue blessing him, giving him wisdom, giving him courage to face every evil that might come along the way to tempt others not to use funds correctly. This is my prayer for I pray believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, after it is opened, after, as uh, the survey, that is the building, uh, retreats, by Union Secondary School, Ministry of Education, Science and Technology Project, FY 2019-2020, officially launched on 18th August. 2021 by Mr. Isaac Achebe, HSC, CDE, Kisumu County. Makofi. Thank you very much. And uh, as I now open and cut the ribbon, I want to just uh, again reiterate that uh, this building is a foundation for the flourishing of our children from this school move to every other area in this world globally and uh, be competitive as it were with everybody whom they are going to meet with and open their minds to meet with everybody and be able to interact well with uh, all those people they are going to interact well globally not uh, in the Zoom. thank you very much and god bless and now fish sure that everything that we do inside here meets the demands of God. Thank you. Thank you.
opportunity to thank the church. Remember God is always first. All what we are doing here, we are only requesting God kindly to lead us through. Of course, God has done what we requested Him. The church 
led by Tom Sidede. We thank you very much for that. Let me also thank the PMC of this school, the Infrastructure Committee, led by Mr. Wayumba, who actually did a commendable job for this work to happen. Mr. Wayoba is sick, but request, uh, we, we request God to give him quick recovery. He really helped us in this construction that we are celebrating today. We thank God for him and the entire committee. Along with that, let me thank the BOM, the entire BOM led by Mr. Jojo Minde. Mr. Jojo Minde is the chairman of BM, but this chairman only discusses successful strategic, strategic plans in this school. There is nothing inside he, he chairs and uh, actually discuss without knowing it's going to succeed. All his plans surely have been successful. John, thank you very much. And all the committee members, thank you very much for this. Had it not been for you, we would not have been celebrating our success today. Let me also thank Bengal officials who are here. Bengal officials led by the, the Kisumu West Deputy Count Commission. Remember, we brought very expensive things in this school, but they could actually get their legs throughout the school, from school to somewhere else. Because of your commitment, we managed to maintain them here and use them here successfully until we are now celebrating very, very beautiful house behind us here. Let me thank, and this is a very important person I'm going to thank on behalf of this Ministry of Education, Kisumu West, South County. Madam, thank you very much. We thank you very much. Remember, as you are told, this project is purely government funding. We, the parents never contributed anything. The PA, I want you to get it clear. When you go home, don't tell parents we went to, to, to celebrate your efforts. They never contributed. And just to chip in, you remember what the chief guest told you, the PA members. The child is supposed to be in school from Monday to Friday sitting in the desk without being interrupted. You know what you tell the parents. You know what you tell the parents. It's good you are here. So the Minister of Education, thank you very much for approving our proposals. And the government was able to give us enough funds to complete this project. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Madam, you are always with us. Whenever we have the meeting, you don't get tired to come. We still need you and need you and need you. Let me thank the county, the sub county, I mean the, the sub county director of education. Thank you very much, sir, for your good pieces of advice and encouragement. Teachers, you heard what he told you. Next time he comes here, he will come to celebrate the what? The performance of the infrastructure. But you will do it. I I assure you, sir, these are the teachers. These ah, 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 and you heard from the performance, they always do what? Increase in mid school and university intake. 
You are wonderful teachers. Just continue. Now, I've thanked the government for its uh, funding. Let me go now to the second last. I don't want to take your time, uh, sir, because I know you have business schedule. This is the principle. Madam Betty, uh, let me tell you one thing. The work of a man and a woman. What does a man do? Make the woman pregnant. After being pregnant, who takes the task of upbringing of the child? The mother or the father? The mother. We are here to tell mother, we want you to do this, 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 and then we go away. When we come here, we leave mother with the task. And when we come, we find that madam has completed everything. Madam, thank you very much. In this school, not only this, we are celebrating a lot of your successes. And those are your children. That you get back to them, immediately you came here, and they are successful. One of them is this one. If you did not know, another one is that one. If you did not know, another one is that one. Those are successes of madam. And we still need more. We still need more, madam. Before, be, I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My sugar level is going to rise when I mention that. <laughs> so, thank you very much, madam. Thank you. The last one is the guest of honor. Mweshimewa. First of all, thank you very much for accepting to come. I know your times are very busy, but you accepted to come. We thank you for that. Thank you very much for your very constructive speech. In every speech, you only gave us words of encouragement. And in that speech, you solve most of our problems. Madam, an officer, the officer solve most of our problems in this world. The problem of overpopulation, he said something. And we are going to do it, sir. So when we bring madam, when we bring it, hey, tick, 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 tick. tick. So, Mweshimewa Gesogona, thank you very much, sir. And uh, we will have you next time when you come, plus, uh, plus everybody here with God, because you are always humble before God, I know you will be, first of all, celebrating good performance. And then, more infrastructure in this school. Otherwise, with those many, many remarks, uh, service, to this gathering if we do not award the following. Kindly accept uh, these awards on behalf of uh, the school. May I call upon uh, our TSC sub-county uh, officer to receive this gift, please. Let me request Mr. Amigo to award him Thank you so much, one clap. <laughs> Mr. Miko, the camera was for you. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Let me request our sub county director of education, Isumu West, also to come forward, Madam, humbly. Kindly, uh, Madam Mwango, Mrs. Mwango, please, kindly award Madam for us. So okay, there's a camera. One clap, please. Thank you so much. Our DCC, kindly. Uh, we also have a, 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 an award for you. Reverend Sidede, kindly award this. Then, uh, sir, our county director of education, 
kindly accept this award. Our chairman board, I humbly request that you award our CDE. Where do you want us to stand like this? There, yeah. Thank you. One clap for our CDE. Mr. Ugutu, clap. One clap for our CDE. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, uh, that brings the curtains down for for that ceremony. I would request Reverend Tom Sidete to close this sitting with a, a prayer. And then humbly after the prayer, we humbly request that we will uh, proceed to our uh, magnificent uh, building for a health break before we depart. Kindly. Reverend Sidete, please stand for us with a prayer. from the book of Psalm, Psalms chapter 20 verses 1 through 9. So you may want to close your eyes as I pray. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of God our, of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save Lord, may the King answer us when we call. Amen. Thank you. <laughs>